hello guys welcome back so let's move forward and open configurations configuration and now let's talk about filters we use filters when we want to filter something okay here we can use filter to filter the information that will be displayed for us if you want to create filter you need to come here and here you need to type the filter for example let's call it filter result let's leave here empty and type let's select alert what does it mean the type site it means this type here for example i have here filter result okay and i select here for example results it means this filter will only work in the result tab and the same happen for all options here i cannot create a filter and select type alert and use this filter on scanner tab for example i cannot do that and here in term you need to provide the filter syntax all right if you leave here empty and you save the term will be signed for your new filter is this one here first equal to one rows 10 sort name don't worry i will explain you this all right so before we move forward i want to take you back to scans and let's go to results and this one here is default filter as you can see we have a default filter here apply it to this page let's go ahead click this option here and as you can see here in filter we need to provide the syntax for the filter we want in in this case we have this graphical interface we don't need to do that but you have this option apply overrides you need to select severity class you select you can do all of this by typing a command that's why i want to explain you this so here you can provide the command or you can use these options here severity you define here what you want to see all of this information is regarding to what you want to see here and solution type you need to select here the code the owner vulnerability if you want to see only the vulnerability or if you want to see results regarding the specific vulnerability specific host location and you here you have first result first result means what you want to see first for example we have here 198 results all right and the first result one it goes from one to 198 but you can choose to start for example from 10 ahead let's do for example this one let's do and here result per page you define the number of results you want to see per page for example here we are seeing 10 results but we can increase this number and here we define how we want to sort this information okay you can sort by vulnerability by solution severity and so on and here you define the, if you want ascendant or descendant and here you can store it as default for example i can change here for example let's change here to one and here instead of using severity let's sort by vulnerability okay and let's say isonant isonant and here store filter has we can create a filter from here okay with these configurations here for example let's put here results okay and let's click update and our new filter was updated as you can see here if you come here you see this is the filter we just created and is default now for this page if you want to go back just click this underscores here and you will be move it to the default filter for this page here this is another way to create filter on the the page you want to work with for example we have here started from 1 to 10 we can change it from here you just need to come here per page let's put here for example 50 and update as you can see we are seeing result from 1 to 50 another thing we can do here we can change this first well let's start from 10 and update we are seeing result from 10 to 59 and this will be ap applied for each page will be the same thing in next lesson i will start teaching you how to use the syntax instead of use these options here because sometimes you will want to create your filters from here and you want to define okay if you come to here for example you edit you have not much to change from here so now before we start typing here the syntax i want to take you to the manual 
let's go to this icon here and click help or write let's scroll up let's go to the top and here you can see we have keywords we can use keywords to filter the content okay this is the global keywords you can see here some examples if you want to define the rows you want to see per page we can use this syntax here you can see here the mean of rows rows number of rows that are displayed per page first determines of the first object displayed we have here the sort okay determination of column used for sorting the results here we have the type column names we can use to sort the information okay and here we have the operators we can use with the syntax we have here the equal you have equal and you have the syntax here we have the contains and you have the syntax and so on as you can see this important note the following operators are not supported this one are not supported and here you have you have filter for phrases for example if you want to look for information regarding to overflow just type overflow and so on and here time specification this is the way you can use for time and here you have these short terms m for minute h for hour and so on let's go back and let's go now we want to use the syntax okay we can create the filter and apply the syntax we can create the filter and put here the syntax we want to use we don't want to create the filter but we want to use at that time we can do that we can go to results we have here the results okay let's raise it here here we can type here we can just type for example if we want to see information regarding to this host here if we go to the next page you will see that here we have more than one host we have this host here this local host and we have this host so but if we type here equal and type this ip address for example and hit enter you see here we will see only information regarding to this host here okay we can go to next page there is no another host here we can filter by the other one the local host ip all right this is one way another thing we can do here we can define the first object okay first you just need to type first equal to one and rows you define the number of rows equals to for example 25 and sort by severity and hide enter and our filter holes apply it as you can see we are seeing the results from 1 to 25 okay and sorted by severity as you can see we can change if you want to change you just need to reset the filter and change first two for example rows 15 and sort by code and hide enter as you can see the first is the second object until 16 to close our lessons regarding to filters let's go for example to this tab here sec info and let's go to nvtase because we have here for example what if you want to see all nvtase created from 2020 forward we can do this you just need to type here created okay just type this syntax we need to provide the year and the month and the date okay let's put here one two and hide enter so here we will see nvts created from 2020 forward okay even if we sort here if we sort here as you can see we are seeing information this is the first from january forward all right so now let's go to results results or we can go to vulnerabilities we have this information here we are seeing information from 1 to 10 per page okay we can change it what if you want to see all results in one page you just need to define this for example first from the first object and rows will type here rows equal this is the secret if you want to see all vulnerabilities in one page what you need to do put minus after that you put one okay and let's sort by severity and hide enter okay as you can see now the information was sorted by severity and now we can see all information in one page as you can see here starting from one all right we can go here in nv days let's look for nv days all right so now here as you can see we have here 
created so here we can type created less than hyphen minus one w okay as you can see we have here all invitates created less than one week and we can put here for example less than one day and hind enter and we can see here the invitates created less than one day this is all about filter if you want to learn more about filter you can come here and find more information regarding to it if you want to create your filters so you just need to come here this is all for filters see you in next lesson